Hey, hey, hey. Good evening and welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. Ministries. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Wednesday Night Bible Study. How are you all doing this evening? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing good. Amen goes right there. Listen, Thank you, Lord. I'm Pastor Kofi Bryant Sr., one of your co-hosts, and this is my lovely co-host, bride and pastor, Pastor Lachelle Bryant. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we are, you know who we are by now. We're Inspired Life Ministries, where we are charged, if you will, to give you the word of God so that you can live out every assignment that God gives you in your life. Amen. Welcome yes. to our Bible study. Amen. 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 Well, we do what at our Bible studies? Study, study the, the Bible. Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's grow together. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that you um, should already have your Bibles with your electronic devices yes. because we're going to the New Testament of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Ah. If you're just joining or if you didn't get it, as someone would live chat it in for us, that's 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, the New Testament. Thank you. Right. Pastor Kofi's going to read for us. Yeah. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. I will be reading from the Easy Read version, okay? Yeah. Amen. Here we are, verse 1. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people with lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, they'll be treacherous, reckless, Swollen with conceit, mm. lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor. So, You're welcome. Amen. So, we have heard um, read to us, and for those of us who are following along, and for those of us who are listening, because perhaps maybe you're in your car driving that you've heard the word written. And so I want to give you some definitions. I want to share some definitions with you. Amen. And I encourage you that in your own study time that you would go back and that you would read these scriptures and just really study them. And what's interesting, even when we look at these verses, one of the things that came to my mind when in verse 1 it talks about how um, in the last days perilous times will come. Well, we're here. Amen. Amen. Hmm. And that men will be lovers of themselves and lovers of money. And one of the things that I thought about as I read each one of these verses is that when I read lovers of money, the scripture says that for the love of money mm -hmm. is the root of all evil. And we could go on in, a, in another lesson with that. And then when I thought about being disobedient to parents, I thought about one of the commandments, um, one of the first commandments that God gave us with promise is, Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long oh, upon this yes. earth. Amen. And then I thought about unholy, how here it is in verse 1 is saying unthankful, unholy. Mm -hmm. That scripture tells us to be ye holy even yes, as I, I am, am holy. holy. Yes. Amen. And so here it is we have where we are currently now in the last days, perilous times. Amen. And so I want to share with you all some definitions. And you all know how we do. Pastor Kofi will chime in as he's led to by the Holy Spirit, and just share what God has given him, but we're going to continue, amen? Hallelujah. God, if you have some definitions and you've studied this, hey, share it with us, amen? amen. That's that why we're here, to grow together, together in the Word of God, That's amen? Right. Hallelujah. So, some definitions. The first definition I want to share with you is perilous. Hmm. And what does the word perilous mean? It means dangerous, hazardous, Full of risk as perilous situation. No, no, no. Now I want to say that again for those who may be slow in typing like me. <laughs> perilous. It means dangerous, hazardous, full of risk as perilous situation. Mm -hmm. Pastor Kobe, is this, this you? Yeah, well, I just mentioned something on perilous. That word perilous, when I first got wind of it, uh, was in 1987, mm -hmm. and I was young. 
not going to tell you how, I'm, how young I was, but uh, being a young man and living in Washington, D.C., uh, which was considered to be the murder capital that time, yeah. of the world at that time. And it wasn't murderous because of a pandemic of sorts that was some kind of virus hitting us. It was a pandemic. It was a pandemic of our thinking yeah. back at that time. And so I remember when my first engagement in the church and I heard the word perilous, it was, these are the perilous times, Pastor. And when I heard that, what was going on in my society at that time mm -hmm. where killings were all over the place, people yes. were dying, sickness, AIDS had just come on the scene for a while, and it was just bad. You follow me? Yes. And the church was saying that these are the perilous, perilous times, times. Mm -hmm. and you need to get your life right to come to Jesus because of these bad times. Mm -hmm. Well, 30 years later, I'm in a situation where these are the times. These are the perilous times, the times in which we have to come to Christ. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. these moments out here are dangerous, and they're very hazardous, yeah. and they're full of risk, as you have defined. And you cannot afford to have the risk without Christ. Yeah, amen. Amen. And so perilous times is such a dangerous time. And watch this. It's not just dangerous for me. Or it's not just dangerous for you. It's dangerous for all of us. Yeah. That's the concept. The times are perilous. Amen. Amen. And so we need to come to a place in Christ where we can understand that these times are dangerous and hazardous. Yeah. And you cannot have dangerous, hazardous times yeah. without Amen. proper direction. Thank you for sharing that with mm -hmm. us. One of the things that you were talking I, I, that I thought about is that when you say that it's not just dangerous for you or for myself, but for all of us, that any time that we leap out of our place of abode and we return back safely without any incidents or harm to ourselves or even to someone that we may know or work with, that that is something right there to give God thanks for. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout right there that we need to give God thanks. I think that so often we think that we're exempt from certain things when, we're, when really we are not. We're just in danger as anyone else. Yeah. It's Christ, uh, his grace yeah. that keeps Amen. us from perishing. Yeah. You follow me? Amen. Yeah. Yes, I do. And so that was perilous. The next definition that I want to give, share with us, share with you all is blasphemers. Blasphemers, the act or offense of speaking sacrilegiously about God or sacred things. In other words, profane talk. Wow. Yeah. Just that, yeah, if you need some proof of that, look in your society. Yeah. Look at what's going on right now in our society, and you'll see some blasphemers. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. The next word, and all of this is in verse 1, depending on which um, translation that you are using. Amen. Slanderers, making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation. Hmm. I'm going to say that again. Slanderers, making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation. Thank you for typing it in. Let me say this. We need to be very sensitive and careful about making false statements, false accusations that damage or that can cause damage to a person and or to their family. If you don't know the facts and if it doesn't pertain to you, stop making false statements. Stop gossiping. Stop saying things that you heard, but you don't really know. Amen? We need to gather the facts. Person, group, or organization. Yeah, yeah. We need the next definition for us. <laughs> yes, yes. Traitorous. Traitorous, thank you. Right? Traitorous. One who betrays another's trust or false to an obligation or a duty. Amen. One who betrays another trust. Or false in an obligation or a duty. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. And so, will. the reason why I wanted to just share with you all some of these definitions is because they are imperative for us to know and to have an understanding about it. Amen. And it's okay if you didn't get it right then. We not we don't always get it immediately, but it's going to come. Amen. Yes. So when we look at Second Timothy chapter three verses one through two. 
Paul was writing to Timothy, his spiritual son. And so when we look at verses 1 and 2, we live in an unthankful and ungrateful generation. Now, you might say, well, Pastor, why are you saying generations? Why are you making it plural? It's not just the, a generation, but I myself, me personally, I've been around different generations and have observed. I've witnessed different generations that are unthankful and ungrateful. Not only the generation of mine or behind me or in front of me, but I have experienced. I myself, Pastor Kofi, I myself inspire life ministries. I myself, yeah. visitors, amen. I myself have not always, I have experienced it, amen. I've experienced generations that are unthankful, that they, they're they not grateful. And what amazes me with some generations, it's almost like people think they have a right of entitlement, amen. But who, what generation is entitled to anything? Yes, we want to give honor to where honor is due, but it doesn't matter what age we are. We need to say thank you. Amen. We need to be grateful. If you agree, say, type in, yes. I agree, or yes, amen. And so, I'm going to share your life experience with you. You might, oh, that's, that ain't nothing, Pastor. It is something for me because it's very personal. One of the things that I have done so many times is when I call myself being real hungry, I sit down at the table and I start eating that food and just right. In the in, in the um experience of eating that good food, chewing it, I think to myself, "Oh man, I ain't say my grace," and I stop right there. This is what Lachelle does. I ask God to forgive. I say, "Oh God, please forgive me. I'm just eating this food." But you know, sure he, I say, "Lord, please forgive me for eating this food. I didn't even thank you for this food like that." And so then I go and I say my grace and I get right back in. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be thankful. It doesn't matter how minute it may seem or be to you. You have to say thank you. Amen. And we need to be grateful. Amen. We Hallelujah. can be a bunch of complaining people, but we need, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to have a spirit and an attitude of gratefulness. Amen. Yes. And of thankfulness. Amen. The Bible says, and everything give thanks unto God, for this is the will of Christ Jesus for I'm the sure. things that are concerning yes. you. Amen. And so here it is. If we don't learn to be thankful and grateful, how will be a, how will we be able to give thanks unto God? God. Uh -huh. Utterly impossible. And some of us have a hard time or a challenging time saying thank you, Lord, because we don't even say thank you to each other. Wow. Wow. See, it often seems like the more we have, the less we appreciate. Mm. But as believers, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. Amen. Don't you all know that this is not our home? Amen. Mm -hmm. That we're just pilgrims on a journey passing That's through. So this true. is not our home. Amen. But while you're passing through, you need to be able to say, excuse me, pardon me, thank you. Hey, who is Jesus to you? See, Paul was preparing Timothy. Paul was in jail at the time in Rome. He, he I believe, knew. That he, what he was preparing for was to go home to be with the Lord. But did he really, really know? I believe so. But he didn't know when it was going to take place. And so he was preparing yes. his spiritual son, Timothy, his son in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so the question is, how many of us are preparing mm. this Good generation? Question. Good question. Your generation. The generation that came before you. Because they don't have it all together. I'm not being crit cr criticizing or being judgmental. I just want to share the truth. Amen. We have a responsibility to teach each other, to unlearn some things, and to learn a God's way. What is his way? His way is truth. Amen. And so here it is. Thank you, Lord. We must strive to be, we must strive to be like Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Because I said it a few seconds ago that as believers in the that as believers, we are in this world, but we're not of this world. world. Yes. And so we're striving to be more Christ-like. We're striving to do just what the word says, and that is to be ye holy, even mm -hmm. as I am holy. We must not strive to be like the world, amen, just to fit in. No, God has set you and I apart for his glory. Glory. Come on now, 
not the glory of the world. Amen. I know the lights, the cameras, the glitter, the fast money, the titles, degrees, all of it looks good. But the Bible says, what profit a man to lose his soul? Mm -hmm. What profit you and I to gain the world and lose our soul? It profits us nothing. I'm not saying don't be successful, but do it God's way. Yes. In Numbers 11, when it says, when the people complained, it displeased the Lord and he became angry. Mm -hmm. And I think that we do enough, or at least I have done enough, to cause God to be angry. And so one of the things that I really, really work hard on is not complaining. Wow. Not missing <laughs> the mark. I'm, I chuckle a little bit because one of the many things that Pastor Kobe does for me is that he helps keep me accountable to the word and he helps keep me rooted and grounded. Not that I wasn't already before he and I came together, but just having that accountability partner. Mm -hmm. We are each other's brothers and sisters and keepers. Yes, Amen. We are. Yes, and we so are. here it is. The apostle Paul, he writes this letter to mm -hmm. his son, Timothy, right mm -hmm. in the gospel. And so while he himself, he's, he's awaiting an uncertain future in prison because he's in Rome Paul knew that his departure from earth was soon approaching, and he wanted to warn Timothy, amen, yeah, yeah. and he wanted to encourage Timothy, amen, on how he could survive the what? Perilous times, the what? The perilous days that would do what? That would be coming ahead, or should I say that are here now, amen? Right, right. And so we may not know the time, day, or the hour that Christ is going to come back, but he's coming back, amen? Yes. I know you say, well, Pastor, they've been saying that for a long time, amen? Open up your Bible and read. Open up your Bible and study. Open up and ask God in prayer time to give you understanding, to give you revelation, amen? Mm -hmm. God cannot, he will not lie. He is coming back, amen? Mm -hmm. You and I can lie. We shouldn't be practicing it. It says what? One of the commandments, thou shalt not lie. Amen. Hallelujah. But when you lie, repent from it and ask God to give you the strength not to do it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. So I'm saying all of this to say that this message is not to scare you and I. Amen. But we need to be made aware. Amen. And so just as Paul wrote a letter to his son, Timothy. Amen. Who are you writing a letter to? See, there's some people that don't live in close proximity to you, but that mm. you could write a letter to them, or you could send them a text, or you could send them a, a, a thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, write a love letter. Amen. Mm. Anybody ever thought they was in love before they truly really knew what love was, and you write a love letter when you was young? Oh, you might do it as an adult. I think that's really romantic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. Let me let me stay focused, amen. And so here it is. I did. I heard this. The Holy Spirit say to write a love amen. letter. There are people who don't live in close proximity to you and I that we could write a letter to. Guess what? We could even send a text, mm. a text message in love. See, we have the responsibility, amen. Though we may not be departing from this earth soon, but. As sure as we've been born, amen, we were born to die. So we do know that we're not going to stay here forever and ever, That's amen. Right. And so we need to be teaching, preaching, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, preparing others, that we need to be warning people, amen. amen. One of the things that you all often hear Pastor Shelley say is that we have a responsibility to build each other up, amen, that we need to encourage people, amen, that we're going to take the inspiration of the word of God, amen, and we're going to inspire people, amen. It might sound like a, a, a what they say, doom, loom message, amen, doom, but doom. guess what? We need to speak truth. What is truth? It is the word of God. Amen. Yes. Yeah, you want to say something, no, Pastor? Oh, God. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So, God is preparing us to be able to do what is needed to be done here mm -hmm. on the earth. Yes. Amen. Yes. There's some souls that need to be saved. Mm -hmm. There's some deliverance that needs to take place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. There's some reconciliation that should happen. Yes. There's some forgiveness that needs to take place. See, some of us, somebody, someone has said out of their mouth, I forgive you, but in their heart they haven't. Mama. You have to let it go. You must let it go. 
that we just can't be about lip service. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't yeah. want to just be hearers of the word, but we want to be doers Doers. of the word. Amen. See, there's some people who are in need to hear and understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's some repentance that needs to take place. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does perilous describe the condition of the world in which we live now? Now, that's a question I really would like for you all to participate, engage back with us. Amen. I'm going to ask the question again. Perilous, does it describe the condition of the world in which we now live? Mm. Mm. I'm giving you a few seconds. Mm. Thank you for your response. Amen. Hallelujah. So is the apostle Paul, is he describing the characteristics that we see in humanity in our world today? Yeah. Seems like Paul just wrote that yesterday for yeah. our situation. Yeah, it? amen. It seems like when you read 2 Timothy chapter 3, right? Yes. 1 through 4, it seems like you're getting a tweet, yeah. a tweet from Paul. Yeah. It seems like you just went on Twitter and saw that. Yeah. A message that is so pointed to today that it seems that it was written today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, amen. Thank you. Thank you, mm-hmm. Pastor That's Kofi. Yeah, it is. You know, as I as I sit here and and Pastor Kofi, when we were discussing, hey, where are we? Where do we go? You know, in, in the messages. And and literally, I literally just really want to like do a boo-hoo <laughs> while y'all say a face cry and cry when I think about where mm-hmm. we currently are. And yes, we always have a desire to share God's truth and to talk about the upbeat things, to worship God and to praise God. Yes. Amen. But we still praise God and we we show a form of worshiping God even when the message that has to be delivered and taught is a not so feel good message. See, because hypocrite, it caused Lachelle to be able to go back and examine herself. Mm. Perilous times, it causes Lachelle to be able to look at where we currently are and what do the people need. Mm. I'm going to be honest with you all. Amen. And that is, I too get discouraged at times. If you all could really get this and understand this, mm. and I'm speaking right now from where I currently am, Right here, from my heart. Mm. I so don't want people to be lost. I so desire that souls will be saved, but I really have a burning desire for those who are in the body of Christ that we get this thing right. And when we mess up, that we not hold ourselves there in condemnation, that we quickly repent, amen? Mm -hmm. And that you tell somebody, not that you bragging about what you didn't do or what you did do, but that you can tell them, amen, so that you can give them hope. Everybody is not going to understand the Bible from the New King James translation or from the... um, uh, Uh, King James translation, sometimes you have to find that easy read translation to be able to identify and meet people where they are. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. Yes or no? It does. Is Apostle, here's the next question. Is the Apostle Paul describing the characteristics that we see in humanity in our world today? I would say yes. It's just like you just said, Pastor Kofi, that it was just like Apostle Paul sent a tweet. And I I often wonder, why is it that we're so engaged in putting out foolishness across the airways, across the social media platforms, things that don't always encourage people or don't cause people to Think about living for Christ, even in perilous times. Mm -hmm. For those of us who are in the body of Christ, we're in a good place. Why? Because we have Christ. We have the greater one living on the inside inside of us. us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to ponder this question for a minute as you reflect on your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And that is, 
is the Apostle Paul is he describing the characteristics that we see in humanity in our world today. Y'all, we just need to keep it real. When this pandemic started, COVID-19, and now we have um, what is it called Delta variants, mm -hmm. that people was beginning or had a hope, and now people running scared again. Amen. Be concerned, but God said, I've not given you a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. God wants us to use wisdom. Yes. These perilous times should not cause you and I to turn away from the faith. But it should cause us, it should be a staring in our spirit that we're going to grow closer to God. That we're going to grow, grow up and we're going to be closer in him and to him. Why? So that we can get the gospel out. Yes. That's the whole goal. Jesus said in Matthew 24 that during the last days, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. Mm -hmm. And many false prophets. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. And many. And many false prophets, thank you, will appear and deceive many people. There's going to be an increase of wickedness. We see that now. Mm -hmm. The love of most will grow cold. There are going to be wars and rumors of war. But the end is not yet. And so while you have breath and while I have breath, we still have an opportunity to get this thing right. Amen? Yes. We are warned in scripture about the days ahead. And since we are warned, it would be wise. Amen. For us who claim, amen, who openly admit, who profess uh -huh. to belong to Christ, that we stay ready. And for those who don't know him, to get prepared to one day meet Christ. Amen. But guess what? That responsibility, it lies within you and I. That ain't just an assignment. Excuse me. Ain't I like the word ain't. But that just is not an assignment. Amen. For the pastor. Or the apostle, or the prophet, or the evangelist, or the teacher. It is the body of Christ's body assignment. Of Christ. And that is to do what? To reconcile man back to Christ. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Perilous times, perilous times, perilous times. Are we living there yet? No doubt about it. Yes, we are. Amen? See, Jesus says this in Matthew 24, 4. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Take heed that no man deceives you. Stop being deceived. See, and knowing what we know through scripture about these perilous days that we are currently in and some new ones that are quickly approaching us, amen, they are guaranteed to come our way, amen. How do we prepare to survive them as the people of God, amen, yes. as the people of God? That's right. I'm calling you the people of God, amen. I'm talking to all those who have accepted Jesus Christ, yes. to the people of God. Now I'm talking to the creation, amen, for mm -hmm. those who have not accepted Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm talking to you, brother. Yes. Yes, I'm talking to you, woman. Yes, I'm talking to you, sister. Amen. I'm talking to even those that we consider the least of us. I'm talking to everyone. Amen. I'm sharing the great gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. See, if you have breath in you, it's not too late for you to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. There is plenty of work to do in the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. And I just want to say thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Thank you so much. My and knowing what we know through Scripture about these perilous days that we're in mm -hmm. and some new ones that I see that are quickly approaching us, that are guaranteed to come our way, how do we prepare to survive them as the people of God? See, people of God, everything we need to know about going to heaven can be found in the written word of God. Amen. Where is it going to be found? In the Bible. God has not kept his word hidden from us, but he has revealed it to us. Well, why you say that, Pastor? The Bible is an open book. Anybody can read it. I remember a long time ago, they used to leave them. In hotels, you go and you visit and stay on vacation or whatever, or whatever reason that you went to the hotel, that they were, the yeah, amen, that they were the there, amen, yeah. hallelujah. So here it is, God has not kept his word hidden from us, but he has revealed it to all who would do what? Who are going to trust him and believe, amen. Gotcha. See, we don't need to add anything to it or take anything away, amen. Yes. See, the word of God is sufficient. 
Yes, it is. In of its own self. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. People of God, it is through the word of God that we have been equipped yes. to survive. Amen. And when the battles of life that are guaranteed, guaranteed to come our way. Amen. You're going to have some battles. Amen. Some of us are in a battle right now. Amen. Some of us are dealing with people that are sick. Amen. Loved ones that are ill. Amen. Some of us are in a battle. Do I send my kid back to school? Do I send my kid not back to school? Do I take the vaccine? Do I not take the vaccine? We're in a battle. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, in the book of Chronicles. For the battle is not yours, but it belongs to the Lord. Preparation for the perilous days ahead cannot be done without the word of God. Come on, Pastor. Joshua 1, 8 says, keep this book of thy law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. That you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Hallelujah. This is what I'm going to leave us with. As I'm coming to a close. Stay alert, people of God. And I believe that it was said on Sunday. When we opened up. The enemy is lurking. He's doing what? Seeking whom he can devour. Seeking. Please. Please do not let it be you. Yes. If you see me not being watchful and not being alert, you got a responsibility to pull me up. Don't let me fall. You see me slipping, gird me up. Don't let me fall. If you see my husband slipping, don't let him fall. Gird him up. Yes. We need to gird each other yes. up in the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. But we can't forget about Hallelujah. the ones, amen, who have yet come to Christ. Amen. We got to be able to be bold for the kingdom of God's sake. Amen. For God's kingdom. That those who are not saved, amen, that we're going to pull them up out of the ditch. That we're going to pull them out from out of the grave. Amen. That we're going to tell those dry bones that yes, you can yes. live. Amen. Hallelujah. They already know. That they on their way to hell. But they don't need to keep hearing that. They need to know that heaven and hell are two real places. But they need to know that they can be saved from hell by yes. giving their life to Christ. Amen. It's easy. It's accepting Jesus. It's believing in your heart and confessing out of your own mouth. Amen. And now that you've done that, that you don't just want to be saved and know that you're in a good place because you're on your way to heaven. No. You want to be continuously striving. Amen. Come to on, obey man. the word of God. Amen. Because even after we've given our life to Christ, there's some shame that has to be done. Amen. See, we're taking off the old clothes. Amen. And we're putting on the new clothes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Good word. Let me say this, Inspire Life Ministries. For as much that lies within me, mm. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to pull you up. I'm going to stay in the word. Mm. Not just for you, but because my salvation is that important to me. Mm. We got to learn to give God glory, even in these perilous times. Amen. We have to learn to give him praise. Amen. Mm. We can't be caught off guard. Amen. Yes. We yes. cannot become stagnant. Amen. Yes. We can't let the past issues and our sin. Amen. Cause us to miss the next move of God. Amen. See, God is a moving. Amen. He is moving. Hallelujah. You have to put on the whole arm of God. Amen. We need to be ready in season and out of season. Amen. We need to stay humble. We need to be open. We need to be teachable. Amen. We need to unlearn some things that we learned. Amen. Even some things that your loving grandparents, parents taught you that was not the word. Amen. But you learned some of those things just in order to survive. But God said, I, I have a better way, daughter. I have a better way for you to survive. That you don't have to keep giving up your body in exchange for somebody to pay your rent. That you don't have to keep on doing what you was doing, amen, in order to be a people pleaser. God says, I need you to please me. Come on now. We have a fresh start anew today, amen. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, amen. You need to get into the presence of God. For he is calling you to greatness. Yes. 
Yes. Even in these perilous times, great is he that is in you than he that is living in the world. Amen. Yes. And yes. we must do what? Stand strong in truth for God's word. Yes. God bless you all, and I love you. Pastor Kofi. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God for hallelujah. the word of God. Praise God for the woman yeah, and the word of God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are so thankful for Thank the you, word Almighty of God. God. Thank you, For Jesus. the word of God is what destroys you, Lord, the God. yoke. Hallelujah. Amen. The anointing destroys thank the you, yoke. Lord. And the anointing is on thank the you, word of Jesus. God. And so I just want to thank God thank you, for the word of God. Amen. Hey, listen. You just heard a strong message about some times that we're living in called perilous. Thank you. If you agree that these are perilous times for you and I, then let's take a minute and let's prepare for the times. Amen? Let's prepare our heart and our minds for the times that we're living in where there's deaths at such a high rate, where there's a pandemic upon us, each of us, even if you are vaccinated, there is a pandemic upon you. There's a variant coming. There's a variant here. You follow what I'm saying? There's always danger and hazard around you. My friend and family, it is time for you to take a moment and get your life aligned with Christ. Yes, thank you. You Jesus. can't afford to be in this dangerous, hazardous thank situation you, thank you, thank and be wayward. I didn't say not be perfect because none of us are perfect. But pastor, can you imagine living a life without Jesus Christ? Can you imagine family that are saved out there right now? As hard as life is with Christ present in your life to not have Christ at all? No, 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 no. Your opportunity is tonight. Tonight. The, 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 the Spirit of God has set you up to hear a message about the times you're living in. Thank Amen? You. you know, I'm always hearing about the end of the world. The end of the world, the end times, right? I want to say this to you. Yes, we are in the end times. Thank you. If you read your Bible, 2 Timothy just explained it. If you want further Revel, uh, revelation from the word or illumination from what's being revealed then you go to revelations and read that book and you'll find out more about the time we're living in now but what I often hear is let's get ready for the end of the world let me explain this to you see the end of the world is coming but you want to make sure that you're right before the end of your world comes See, for some of us, the end of the world is not going to be seen right now at the same time. For some of us, the end of the world is the end of your life. Yeah. Or the end of the world is the end of your opportunity to get it right. Or the end of the world for you is the end of you are being able to give God back the life that he gave you with results. So you don't Amen. want that to happen. You don't want the end of your world to come. Amen? So before your world ends, make sure your life is right. Amen? So let's Amen. do that right now. Let's give our life to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And for those of you all who believe that you are engrafted in the Word of God, as we spoke of last week, that you're a Gentile and you came into Jesus, now is your time to perfect your life, to get your life right. For those of you all who know Jesus Christ, You've been living this life and you've been playing around with it. Jesus. But now you know the time is here for you to get it right. So we're going to pray a prayer to get people in Christ. And we're going to pray the prayer that for the people that are in Christ already to live, move, and have their being in Him. Thank Amen? You, Amen. All Thank right. You, well, let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Matter of fact, stand up where you are. Repeat this prayer after me and say it loud enough so you can hear your own voice. Father, Father I, come to you. I come to you. Me, okay. say your name, yes, Kofi. Sir. I come to you right now, you right thanking, now. You thanking you for your son, for your son Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. For you, you gave him to you me. Him to and me. all I have to do, all I have 
accept him. Is accept him. Is accept him. As my Lord. As my Lord. And as my Savior. And as my Savior. And my perilous times. And my perilous times. Will not end. Will not but end. But they will be. I will be safe. I will be safe. In my perilous times. In my perilous times. For now I understand. For now I understand. That safety. That safety. Is not in the law. Is not in the law. Is not in politics. Is not in politics. But safety. But safety. Is in the heart. Is in the heart. Of the one who believes in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. And I ask him to be my Lord and my Savior. Fill me full of your Holy Spirit. So that I might see, understand, and be able to speak truth. As the Spirit reveals. Father, I'm saved and I thank God for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, Father, I believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus and I've strayed away from you. And I've, strayed away from I've, you. Not lived my life I've not lived my life as I should. As I should. But, I right now, but I right now, me, me say your Michelle, name, Kofi, I decide right now, I decide right now to, continue to continue to allow you to, allow you to, speak, into my life to speak into my life and to direct my life and, direct my life. and to cause me and to, cause to be the Christian to be the that I need to be. I'm sorry for letting you down, God, but I'm back right where you need me to be. Thank you for the opportunity to get my life right. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. If you say the prayer, you just pray the prayer of salvation. We want to welcome you into the body of welcome Christ. Welcome to the body just of Christ. just want to let Christ. you know Hallelujah. that when one gives their life to Christ, that the angels in heaven, that they A rejoice. A parade breaks and out And so we heaven. rejoice yes. right now with Hallelujah. you. And for those who are in the body of Christ, yes. praise God. We thank God for you. We thank God for your growth. Amen. We thank God for our growth. Amen. Oh, and God. I ask that you will continue, mm -hmm. amen, to stay in prayer. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Please. For the Bible says that saints ought to pray one for another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. But let us also right. remember the, the unsaved. Amen. That they yes. may come to be saved. Amen. 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 We love you guys. We do love you. We, we thank love God you so much. for you. Amen. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. And Amen. we want you to share this message with someone who you would like to see get to know Jesus. Would you do that? Would you help us preach this message? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you for your participation. For as my wife said, we love you. We praise God for you. Yes. And we would like to grow together Amen. with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's grow together. <laughs> Amen. We'll see you on our next broadcast. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Peace. Peace. Perilous times.